Hi, I'm Adi Baird from BPX. Welcome to Meet the Product. Welcome to the BPX series of short videos. We're actually sitting down talking to some of our key manufacturers. I'm sat here with Wayne Turtle from Mitsubishi Electric. We're here today to discuss the MRJ5 series servos. Wayne, tell us a bit more about the MRJ5, please. The MRJ5 series servo is the latest iteration of the Mitsubishi servo family. Um, it's going to be working alongside the MRJ4 series servo, um, but we've just moved on to a different uh, control philosophy on how we control the servos. Predominantly, it's going to be looking at package machines, anything that you want to accurately move into position, um, or you want to do accurate torque control or accurate speed control. So where are these products used? and what industrial applications are they best suited for? Well, typically, the, the MRJ5 series can be used anywhere where you need to do positioning or accurate position control. Okay. Um, they can be on packaging machines, they could be on press applications, really the whole gamut of the industrial automation market, really. Wayne, please explain some of the key features of the MRJ5 series servos. Well, we've moved away from the traditional um, SSC net control on the MRJ5 series, and we've moved over to a thing called TSN which is time sensitive network, which is one actual network to control many things. So um, you can have multi protocols going down the same cables, but they all work on the same cable. So you can now have a mixture of deterministic, non-deterministic um, uh, communications. Mm -hmm. And you can also have a mix of traditional and non-traditional automation products. So now you can have bar scanners on here and that sort of thing, um, card readers, that. Uh, that sort of thing really. Um, but you can also now have a single network to control your entire machine. So you can now have a mixture of servos, you can have things like the new E800 drive, all on the same TSN network. Whereas before, you might have to have a servo network and then a field bus network. So now it's all, all goes down the same cable. Is the TSN network exclusive to Mitsubishi Electric? No, it's, a, it's an open protocol. Okay. So third party vendors can apply and they can actually um, add their devices to the TSN network. It's exactly right. the same as CC Link network, okay. where you can actually apply to join the CC Link partnership and put your products on that network. It's exactly the same as TSN. Why would you use the MRJ5 series servos over the existing ranges already with Mitsubishi Electric? Well, the J5 has the TSN network, which is a single network to cover servos and your other automation products that are on the network. We also have uh, an additional 24 different types of motor now with the J5, which is a lot more than we had with the other series. So we can give you an interim size. So instead of having a one kilowatt, one and a half or two, then we can offer a 1.75 or a 1.2, giving us more flexibility in what we do and also saving the customer uh, money by not having to go for a bigger motor. Can you list some of the advantages of actually using the MRJ5 series servos? The J5 itself um, will accept either 400 volts or 200 volts as the input. Um, okay. The motors, you can actually mix and match the, the motors to the amplifiers. So you can have a 200 volt motor running on a 400 volt amplifier and vice versa. So you can have a 200 volt motor running on a 400 volt motor. Um, this will reduce the amount of spares holding that's required uh, on a production line or things like that, um, which obviously reduces your spares holding, as we said, yeah. which then reduces the cost. Servo products traditionally use batteries and sometimes there are issues moving batteries around globally. Does this product address those issues? Well, with the J the J5 series amplifiers and motors, there is no need for a battery to do an absolute move to back up the, the encoded data. It's all done with a supercapacitor that's actually inside the amplifier. So there's no need for, for batteries at all. Wayne, thanks very much for joining us today to talk about these new innovative products from Mitsubishi Electric. If you'd like any more information, please click on the link. And thanks very much for watching today.